Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Recently I got together with some new musicians, got into some heavier music. So here is what I'm currently working on and why. First of all, if you are into hard rock, punk, metal or whatever, chances are high that this video is way below your skill level. I am not a heavy drummer. But this video is not about the specific exercise I'm going to show you. It is more about how I came up with it, why I'm doing what I'm doing and all the little details and techniques. So let's do this. This is one of the classic guy meets guy meets guy stories and then they form a punk rock band. But then this guy realizes, damn, I'm not a punk rock drummer. So I came up with this 16 bar long exercise to work on all my weaknesses. The first thing I realized was that my hi-hat is way too soft when playing fast eighth notes. I rely a lot on my fingers when I play fast stuff but for this kind of music, it was just way too quiet and didn't cut through. So I have to work on my molar technique, you know, this whipping motion. I have a video about this and also about finger control. I will link it in the description below. For you to understand what I'm talking about, here is the most basic punk rock groove, first played with the fingers and then with the molar technique. All right, a great starting point would be to play eighth notes on the hi-hat using the molar whip, snare on two and four, and my kick also lacks a lot of power for the style of music, so let's fix that by just playing it everywhere. Another issue for me is just moving around the kit at these high tempos. So I came up with the most basic fill I could think of, this one, and moved it around the set. First on the snare, then on the tom, and then on the floor tom. Always coming back in with the crash cymbal. Here is what we got so far. The next thing I have to work on are my single strokes. Normally I would use my fingers here, but again that's way too soft. I got to use my wrists. So let's just add a very simple single stroke fill and have a listen. The last thing I want to do is to play this whole thing twice. The second way around, I move my right hand from the hi-hat over to the right cymbal. And here I will use my fingers, together with a bit of wrist action. And that is just because of my right cymbal. It is kind of thin and doesn't sound very good when you play too hard. And of course, while I'm on the right cymbal, I will use my left foot for counting. So here is the complete 16 bar exercise.
that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. That was a bit of a different video today. Normally I play stuff I can play here and not stuff I can't or I'm currently working on. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and I'm going back to the kit and trying to push this another 20 or 30 BPM. Let's see. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye bye.